Today we will go through how to play all the unreleased preview and demo versions of Half-Life 1. The leaked Half-Life Alpha 0.52, Half-Life Day 1 and Half-Life Uplink. By the way, you can click on the chapters if you want to skip something. So, here we go. Part 1, Half-Life Alpha 0.52. To play this very first version of Half-Life, you don't even have to own Half-Life. You just need to download two things. The game files themselves and this program that will basically emulate a 90s graphics card. You don't need this program if you are playing on a Windows 95 system with a 3D FX Voodoo graphics card. If not, you need this to enjoy the game in a full HD resolution. After downloading both files, unzip the Half-Life folder. Inside you will find a bunch of different files, mostly promotion stuff like this super low resolution video. Before you can run the game you have to install Englide. When it's done open the Englide configurator and set the resolution. Let's say full HD, so 1920 by 1080. Once that's done you're ready to roll. Click Half-Life GL and the game will launch the graphics demo level right away. For today's audience that's really nothing special, but keep in mind this is from the year 1997. So while I run around and show you the amazing new possibilities of this engine, I'm gonna tell you something about the controls, because they are quite a bit different from what we are used to today. Usually you move around using W, A, S and D. In this early version of Half-Life you use E, S, D and F. You can switch from pistol to submachine gun with the buttons 2 and 3 and a click on the fire button. The rest of the controls are mostly the same. Jumping is still on space and so on. Just know that you have unlimited ammo so there is no reload key. Also, the use key is not E, it's B. Apart from that, this version is very well playable and just switching the levels is not so easy. Oh, and by the way, this place you are seeing right here was on the box of many Half-Life retail versions, even though it was never included in the game you could buy. You can open the menu by pressing Escape, then use the arrows, the Escape and the Enter button to navigate. To confirm, press the Epsilon button. If you're using a German keyboard, that will be the Z button, just saying. When you select a new game, you will be thrown onto an early version of Stalkyard. You know, that Raiders of the Lost Ark end scene map with all those wooden boxes. If you create a new multiplayer session, the same happens as if you would have started the single player. Though I really doubt this alpha has a good multiplayer support, so onwards to the real single player. To get the single player, open the console by pressing this button and however it's called in your region. Then enter map, space and for example C1A1. So here we are, welcome to the original beginning of Half-Life. Playing from here on you can play through 6 chapters. The portal device, the office warrants, the security complex, the alien research lab, communications center and the reactor lab. If you played the original Half-Life you will notice some familiar areas and some completely new ones. So have fun! And on a personal note, is it just me or do some of the areas in this game seem way more detailed than in the final release? Oh, and uh, even for 1997, all the scientists and the security guards... Something's really wrong with those guys. They've been smoking some serious shit. So here we are with part 2. Half-Life Day 1 and Half-Life Uplink. This is fairly easy now. Download the stuff provided in the link, unpack the whole thing and copy the stuff in the folder into the Valve folder in your Half-Life game data. Don't copy the models folder, unless you want to play with the model seen before in the alpha. If you want to play all these games in alpha style, copy the stuff in the 1997's conversion folder as well. When that's done you're ready to launch the game. The menu will look like this and give you the options to play Half-Life Day 1 and Uplink. Day 1 is simply the first few chapters of the retail Half-Life, with some minor changes, so there's not much to talk about. If you want to play Half-Life Day 1 with all the remains of the Quake engine in it, download the Day 1 standalone. The changes are really really small. 
The flow of blood is different and the G-Man behaves differently when you shoot at him. And as you can see, it's not available in a full HD resolution, unless I've missed something, but anyway, it's not that important. So, back to the main menu. Half-Life Uplink is the official Half-Life 1 demo. It consists of a chapter not featured in the original Half-Life. Weapon behavior is different and at one point the zombies behave much smarter than in the original, they block the player's path. So remain vigilant and watch out for an ambush. Also the soldiers appear to be much more cruel than in the original Half-Life. Especially for a fan of Half-Life this is an interesting demo, because it features a lot of things that didn't make it into the original retail version of Half-Life. If you own Half-Life 2, good for you. You can download a remade version of Half-Life Uplink for the Black Mesa mod. Quite a difference, isn't it? It's very cool to play this old Valve classic with its all new shiny look. I can really recommend playing the original Uplink first and then the Black Mesa remake, especially when activating the commentary mode. So you absolutely have to check it out. Well, actually, as a fan, you have to try everything I've shown you here. Oh, and by the way, originally I wanted to include Half-Life DK into this video, but due to a temporary lack of second player, I cannot show it to you now. It's possible to play it on your own by switching around from Dr. Green to Dr. Cross, but that's not much fun. So expect this video to come around next week, I guess. And yes, you heard right, it's an official Half-Life co-op game. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful and of course all the download links are in the description down below. So as always, see you next time, have a nice day and guten tag.